Check it out. I'm building my own photo booth. It goes to stand for it. So I got all these different parts. That's the stand. It's adjustable. And this is the neck where I was able to get this 22 inch light. As you can see, I got screws going down and up both sides. Just kind of, you know, making it nice and sturdy. And then I'm going to paint it all black. I'm going to get all this covered nicely. So now what I'm working on is the iPad connector. Not very happy with how this is right now. Not happy at all. So I'm going to be looking for something that I could connect probably here to here and get an iPad right in the middle. Uh, that's going to be my next thing. And then also get all this power sorted out and perhaps add this right here. So that's what we're working with. I got a few more things to figure it out, but um, let's see how it comes out. To make more space, this is one of the power supply for this unit. I'm actually taking it apart. I'm gonna tape the crap out of it, try to shove it somewhere back here. So it takes more, less space, and have more, less crap running around. So let's do that. So just peeling this off. Look at that, I see space back there. Mm, I get creative. <laughs> right, let's see how we could fit this. Okay, so in order for me to put that device back there, had to pop this open. So literally, it's got two screws, one in this corner, another one right there, and then you could pop the whole thing out. See that, pop right out. And so the bottom, don't know if it has any screws over there, but it's got some wires which holds this plate in. So I'm gonna be very careful. But, but yeah, I can see my space back there. Look how much space I have. So I'm gonna carefully take this out. Mm, so it's still it's coming. It's almost there. Yeah. As you can see, it actually could be disconnected right here. You see that the connection? So you could disconnect it. But I'm gonna pull this out and shove my unit back there. Okay, I found out there's two more screws right there. See that? Right there. There's two more screws that actually holds that front plate of the LED. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Okay, I got everything loose. Look at all that space. And now is where I'm gonna do my magic, but I already um, taped it. Got tape all around. Make sure that the wires are not gonna go nowhere. So let's try it. Okay, here's what I did back here. Look at this. Got this plug sticking out. And also I got some Velcro action going on. So, Right here, there's nothing else in there. Just gonna Velcro this in place. That's it. So I wanted to do this like this. That way I could take this power cable out. That way it's not always plugged in. But see that? Goes right in. Bam, right there. Right to the side. And they, that goes our power in. And uh, yeah, let's get it in. Ah, it's hard to do it one hand. Yep, doesn't matter the sides. Okay, there we go. Let's try. Ah, let's put the camera down. There we go. Okay. Got it in. Looks good. And this is going to be our charger for the la for the uh, iPad actually that's gonna go right in the middle so that's gonna go right there I'm gonna roll this up a little bit make it look a little nicer but this vocal looks good I think I think I'm gonna add a little more down the bottom so yeah let's do that and the front looks beautiful man I mean it's got plenty of space here Got everything secure in place. Just got to put this back. 
and uh, got that sitting right there. I taped it. It looks good. I mean, we're just going to go ahead and run a test now. Okay, got the power plugged. Now we're going to test it. So first thing, let's turn this on. Show the light is on. Whew, look at that. You can actually see the green right in there from the adapter that I shoved in there. Looks nice and clean, huh? Look at that. Yep, look at that green. So now I should be able to touch this. Ooh. Touch and hold. Phew, very bright. Yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the, put the ring back on and do a better test, but phew, we're looking good. Okay, got the ring all clamped up. Now let's power button, look at that. Different modes, I like this, nice and clear. Yeah, that's it. Shoot, that's one. One of the issues that we got out of the way. Next, I need to get this. Where did it go, where did it go? Uh, found it right here. Next, we got to get this iPad mount in place. And then our photo booth is all set. Okay, I am done. Power is on. Let's just confirm. We got the little light there. We got the green one on the inside. That means power is on. Now we can just turn on the ring. Whew, so bright. I'm going to turn it off. But... Finally got the iPad nice and steady. I mean, it's perfect. I could do better if I want to. Probably could get some hooks that will go across from here to there. You know what I mean? Uh, there's so many different things. You could hook here, here. I mean, you could get more creative than this, right? But for now, this is what I did. I used this iPad holder. And got it all the way connected. The reason I got all this kind of flexible um, is so I could remove, move it around, do what I got to do, adjust it up and down if I need to. Right now, I feel it's pretty centered. But this thing is totally adjustable. I mean, you could do magic with this, right? Uh, this goes up and down as you adjust it right here. So I got it right in the middle, but it's flexible, right? You see? Pretty flexible in case I want to bring it in a little more or bring it out a little bit. You know what I mean? I want it to be flexible a little bit. Um, I mean, this whole thing, shoot, what can I say? I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I already got two other clients or friends that they want me to build the same thing for them. And uh, so this is, you know, basically, whew, it's all bright very bright but so far this is my little how you call it my little model to go off um, so if I create another one I'll probably try to make it identical or a little bit better but we are all set ladies and gentlemen like subscribe for more crazy videos from DJ AB always you know getting creative